Do you remember hearing about that weird, strange-shaped object that passed through our inner solar system late last year? It was the first object we've confirmed to have come from outside our solar system, and was given the name Oumuamua, Hawaiian for scout or messenger from our distant past. Now, scientists have analyzed data from many observatories, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, and found that this interstellar object has gained an unexpected boost of speed. After Oumuamua was discovered with Hawaii's PanStars-1 telescope, as it surveyed the skies for near-Earth asteroids in October 2017, observatories all around and above the world focused on this approximately half-mile-long object to learn as much as possible about this cosmic visitor before it flew too far away to see. The Hubble Space Telescope was used to collect observations to determine the object's trajectory over two months in late 2017 and early 2018. The observations were combined with data from multiple ground-based observatories, which showed Oumuamua to have a small, continuous, non-gravitational acceleration. Something besides just the gravity from the Sun and planets was affecting the trajectory of Oumuamua. A probable source of this acceleration is jets of gas coming off the object. This behavior is similar to objects we have already identified as comets. When they get close to the Sun, Isis and the comets sublimate into gas, and streamers of gas can push the object along. Usually when comets do this, the outgassing can be seen because it ejects large amounts of dust which form a cloud around the object called a coma and a tail. But with Oumuamua, no type of coma or tail was seen. Maybe Oumuamua doesn't have much dust left after its interstellar journey an amount no more than a couple coffee cans of material, making the dust too sparse for us to see. Or maybe the dust was much larger than normal, making it hard for us to detect. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it's easiest to detect dust when the particles are similar in size to the wavelength of light we're using. Observatories were looking at Oumuamua invisible light, where we have the most sensitive detectors but larger particles of dust would be easier to detect with microwave or radio wavelengths. This is definitely an unusual object, and unfortunately no more new observations of Oumuamua are possible because it's already too dim and far away for even Hubble to see. But when there's one weird object, there are probably more. Sky survey programs will keep an eye out for other interstellar visitors, and the Hubble Space Telescope will be ready to contribute observations to better understand any more orphan vagabonds traveling between the stars.